Hello student of grade 11 applied maths. We'll do exercise 6.1. Name of the chapter is quantification and numerical application. Question number one, find the average of this number. So simple, average means the sum of the number, sum of observation by number of observation so sum of observation means you'll add everything 354 plus 281 plus 623 plus 518 plus 441 plus 702 plus 876 divided by how many observation is there 1 2 3 4 5 Six seven. So divide by seven. Now, if we add everything, you'll get three eight zero one divided by seven. So divide by seven. Seven five is thirty five. Thirty. Seven four is twenty one. No, sorry, is twenty eight. Seven three is twenty one. So we found the average. Okay. Here they are saying find the average of the first forty natural numbers. So First, write the natural number. We'll start from 1, 2, 3. It goes on like that. 4 and go on. The last number will be 39, 40. So, when the series is given like that with the same common difference, average formula is A plus B by 2. Your A is 1 and the B is the last term. So, we can write 1 plus 40 by 2 that is 41 by 2 if you divide it you will get 20.5 you can pause the video to write the solution let's go to next question mass mass ok this one find the average of the odd number up to 100 so i'll just give you the series and you do on your own okay so odd number up to 100 is odd number start from 1 3 5 7 dot dot dot, dot. you need to write the last number only 97 the last will be 99 so you find the average by using the formula a plus b by 2 okay answer will be 50 so this is your homework you must get 50 answer same formula average equal to a plus b by c uh, a plus b by 2 since this series is in ap means they have same common difference throughout 2 to count okay so we can use a plus b by 2 formula this one Find the average of first five consecutive odd number greater than 120. So odd number will be greater than 120 will be 121, 123, 125, 127, 129. So you have to find the average. So since this is also consecutive number with a common difference 2 to Two to count, so we can use a plus b by two. So I'll do for you this one. A plus b by two. There is one twenty one plus one twenty nine by two. You'll get two fifty by two. If you cancel, one twenty five. Clear. Let's go to this question. Find the average of all the numbers between 6 and 34, which is divisible by 5. So, numbers will be 5. Divisible by 5 means it can be between these two. So, it will be 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, to find the average, since this is uh, the common difference is same. 5, 5, 5 all the time. So you can do A plus B by 2. Clear? The answer will be 
20. So this one also you do as a homework. Same formula a plus b by 2, like this. This one you'll do like question number one. I'll just give you the first prime number. They're saying average of the first nine prime numbers. So uh, first nine prime numbers. So two, three. These are not consecutive. Okay, five. It is like the common difference is different. So you have to use the like question number one. Sum of the observation by number of observation. Seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So average will be sum of observation by number of observation. So you have to add everything and divide by 9 to get the answer. So you can do this one also homework. Simple question. You must get the answer as 100 by 9 if you solve it. Okay. Let's do this. Find the average of first 5 multiple of 12. So first 5 multiple of 12 will be 12 then 24 36 you just have to know the first and the last so average will be a plus b by 2 we can do since the common difference is 12 same so we can write 12 plus 60 by 2 that is 72 by 2 if you cancel 36 okay let's do this the average of five consecutive number is a b c d e is 48 okay what is the product of a and e so they say con consecutive number that means the common difference is same okay so one one common difference we'll consider let a equal to x so b will be one more c will be again plus one so x plus two consecutive number d will be x plus three e will be x plus four so we have to find x then we'll find a and e then we can find the product of a e so We can use a plus b by 2 because this is a consecutive number. Average is given as 48. a is x plus b is now a plus b means the last number. If you cross multiply x plus x plus 4 equal to 2 into 48 is 96. So x will be 92 by 2. X is 46. Once we get x, find a. A is x, that is 46. And e is x plus 4, that is 46 plus 4, 50. Now we're going to find the product of a and e. So a into e will be 46 into 50. Multiply, you'll get. 2300 <coughs> You can pause the video to write Once we get X we're putting the value finding the value of A and E then we can find the product okay next question number nine the average of 75 members is 100 the average is 100 okay average is 100 if 
each is decreased by 5. So they are saying that each number is decreased by 5. For example, when we did question number 1, the average is given as this much, okay? Now they are saying if I decrease each number by 5, then what will be the new average? So simple, okay? Whenever we decrease or increase each, every numbers, every observation, or multiply every observation, then from the average, only we do calculations. So new average will be, since we are decreasing 5 from each number, so new average also will decrease by 5. So new average will be 95. If we increase each number by 5, the new average will be 100 plus 5. Okay. And if we multiply each number by 5, then the new average will be 100 into 5. It goes on like that. Okay. And if we divide each number by 5, the average also, new average also will be 100 divided by 5. Five. So they said decrease, so I have minus. Clear? So new average is 95. And that's the question number. Then, 13 chairs and 5 tables were bought for this much. The total cost is given as 8280. If the average cost of table is this much, find the cost of chair. So, always average is sum by n. Now, if you want to find the sum or sum means the total cost of five table will be one table is this much, so five table means you will multiply by five into one, two, two, five, two, seven. So if you multiply, you'll get six, one, three, five. So the cost of five table sum is always average into n, okay? They've given average cost as one, 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 two, two, seven. So to find the sum, what we did, average into n. That means average is this one into n. There are five numbers. So we got this. So what will be the total cost of of 13 chair? Total expenditure is 8280 and cost of table was 5 table was this much. We have to subtract. The remaining will be. So if you subtract what you are getting. 5, 7, 3, 1, 4, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 4, 5. That is the cost of 13 chair. Can you find the cost of 1 chair? So average, uh, average, Cost of chair will be this is sum of the cost of the 13 chairs. Okay, so we will divide 2145 divided by their 13 chairs. So 13, one time is 13, 13, 6, 13, 5. So we are getting rupees 165. Okay. Let's do question number 11. In a family, the average of average age of father and mother, okay, is 35. So, let father age be X, mother age be Y and Sun's HP. Z, okay. Now, the average age of mother and father is given as 35. So, average formula is sum by N. 
35 and sum of mother and father means x plus y by n is 2 cross multiply x plus y is 70 so the sum of the age of mother and father is 70 now now we're going for the average age of the mother father and son okay sum by n mother father and son the average age is 21 so sum will be x plus y plus z by n is there are three terms so divide by three three edges are there so we divide by three cross multiply x plus y plus z equal to this is 27 okay 27 into 3 is 81 i'm doing here x plus y sum of the age of mother and father is 70 so in place of x plus y we can write 70 plus z equal to 81 so what will be the age of son now 11 so therefore age of son is 11 years okay you can pause the video to write everything thank you